Hey, what's up you guys? Case Vermochi here and happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate here in the States. I um, hope you guys had a very happy Thanksgiving. I know I sort of did. I know I'm here at work as you can tell, but I mean, I've been preparing for Thanksgiving dinner for a little bit. Um, and it's been something. Today I just want to go over a little bit of what I did to prepare for Thanksgiving. I know I'm at work, I work my 3 to 11 shift. I signed up for it so I knew what was going on, um, but that's fine. I did have a free turkey that was given from the hotel and I got it on Tuesday. It was really hard to thaw out because, you know, we kind of got it a little bit late and it is a 24.10 pound turkey and it takes days for that to thaw out so it was a little bit difficult to try to get that ready for Thanksgiving but we made it, we sort of made it. Um, it was a little bit hard to brine it of course. Um, I did the brining technique for that since I didn't want to put any stuffing. Um, but it was a little bit difficult just because it was frozen so it won't absorb the um, the solution a little bit quicker but it was fine um, we, we are supposed to leave it in the fridge too I did it on a Wednesday morning where I prepared the brine left it at room temperature just left the turkey inside as well and I didn't put it in the refrigerator anymore I actually left it outside closed off um, so nothing can get to it and you know let the let it thaw out a little bit too while it's you know brining <laughs> I guess that's how I can explain it um, but yeah it actually turned out a lot well than I thought I was so worried this morning when I started to um, put it in the oven I was scared that it might not go well it wouldn't taste good but it turned out a lot better than I thought especially for a person who first tried uh, you know roasting a turkey like that um it was something and i was scared that I might get it wrong um of course it was free so there was not too much to worry about and like my money wasn't really uh spent there with ruining a turkey but it actually turned out really well that i thought and it cooked through it was a little bit dry in some spots but i mean like i said we got the turkey late i couldn't prepare it um prepare it in time really uh, but it made do with what I had and I actually turned out a lot well especially on the first time that's such beginner's luck and I'm so happy that I was able to complete this task um, yeah I really hope that my family enjoys it I wasn't home for Thanksgiving but we are celebrating I guess just for ourselves um, but it was nice it was something that I wanted to do for a long time and again it's my first time baking a turkey like that and it turned out a lot better than I expected. Sorry, I keep moving around because I keep going back and forth from the front desk to here just to make sure that there's no guests um, who needs my attention. Um, but yeah, um, I guess this video is just me saying things that I'm thankful about and I'm thankful for having this job for allowing me to do this and I'm not really supposed to but um, I get to do it anyway and with it being the holidays there's not too many guests in this hotel that we're at uh, so I guess I can do this during my free time I mean everything else gets done right away and I don't have to worry about much really so yeah I'm really thankful for being able to do this and for having this job to help me buy all the equipment that I need to make a video um, I'm thankful for my family who I still keep around with me and, and keep in touch with especially my mom and my sister and of course my sister's husband Tim um, he is amazing and I see that he's treating uh, my sister very well so Tim shout out to you thank you for taking care of my sister there in California and making her smile every chance you get and for my mom and my sister I love you guys so much and I'm thankful for you guys for being in my life for always being there to let me talk to when I have something that I wanted to get out of my chest and it's been amazing having you guys and for my sister I know we're far apart but I can always rely on you when I need a shoulder to lean on even though you're so far I can always contact you you will reply as soon as you can and we always have that chance to talk and you know video chat and whatever and of course we have Minecraft and it's always something and I do apologize I've got so pissed at you when I'm playing Minecraft for some reason uh, I don't know, it's just me and gaming, you know how I am sometimes, but yeah, it's been, it's been great, and I'm thankful for, you know, having you as my sister, and, you know, no matter how far we are, um, you'll always be there, and I really appreciate that.
Alongside that, I am also thankful for my second family, which are my friends. Um, Amber, you're my number one right now. You, I love you so much. You're an amazing friend that I can ever ask for. Um, you're always there for me. We're there when we need to talk to each other. And you know, we just vibe very well. And I'm very thankful to have had you as a friend and you are an amazing. I hope you do well and that, you know, life takes you to so many different places. And you know, in the end, everything, everything you can ever ask for is brought to you. And I love you so much, Amber. Thank you for always being there for me. Very thankful uh, for having you in my life. Uh, Kayla, <laughs> I miss you so much. I'm thankful for you as well. You show me a lot how to have fun and party and whatever. <laughs> Not really that's what you do, but um, you know, I can loosen up when I was with you and that was amazing. And I just love being around you as well. Your vibe is amazing. And every time we have a chance, because we don't really have a chance to talk to each other too much uh, but when we do have a chance um, we always try to catch up and it's always been amazing and you're always there as well for me and yeah <laughs> you're one other person that it's very easy to talk to and you know listen up and just have a legit conversation with each other um, uh, I am thankful for Mia. Hey Mia, <laughs> how are you doing? I miss you so much. You are my one of my friends, best friends actually, from high school um, that I've never lost contact with yet. And I'm glad that we're, it stays like that. No matter where we are, we've always had some time to chat and talk to each other. I know you chat with me first usually and I don't really chat with you, but it's just because I'm shy a little bit. Not really that I have to be, but I don't know. I just don't want to disturb you sometimes, but when we do have a chance to talk to each other, it's been amazing and I love that. Uh, Laura, Celica, Renz, and Queenie, I miss you guys so much. You guys made college bearable for me. I know of done a lot of bad things I guess in college but you've always helped me stay grounded a little bit and to you know make college a lot more uh, bearable than what it was intended to be so I'm so thankful for you guys and I do contact you most of the time as well um, I still have yet to announce when I'm going back to the Philippines. I'm sorry it's been taking me so long. Um, I don't even know if you guys are still in the Philippines, if you guys have traveled out to different places yet, but hopefully we can see each other again and I miss you guys so much. Before I move on to any other friends or whatever um, that I'm thankful for, I always have to be thankful for my cousins. I do apologize for not mentioning you for, or first or second here, um, but my cousins, Wanda, her husband Mark, um, CJ, PJ, Jim, Ninning, Merrick, um, you guys are awesome and you are like the world to me for real. Like I love you guys so much and uh, thank you always for being there for me and I know I don't go to the parties as often now because of work of course and other reasons but you know you guys always love to include me and there's never a time where I actually had to be felt left out like that. Uh, I do apologize to you guys if I've been like strict on things or whatever um, but that's what I love you guys for because you guys help me understand that I have to loosen up that I can't keep being like this mean strict person all the time um, but you guys are there to ground me as well with um, with everything that I do, really. Like, not to take things too seriously. Um, take it with a grain of salt, usually. And, you know, when we're making fun or making fun of each other or whatever, it's not because, you know, we're being mean. It's because we know, you guys know how to take a joke and we know how to be funny like that with each other. And I'm sorry if I ever, you know, forget about that. Um, but you guys always show me um, how grounded I should be and how to bring myself back down to take a joke and to learn to laugh at myself. For my third family, which I would consider being the Fairfield, you guys are amazing here. All the housekeeping, maintenance, house people, um, my general manager and my front desk manager and all my co-workers who I work with. I know there are times where I might have pissed you guys off, which I do apologize for, and sometimes I vent a little bit, um, but thank you for bearing with me. Like, seriously, I don't know what I would have done if I weren't able to vent. I know there are some issues that we had before, but, you know, I'm always there to talk about it as well, so I'm sorry if I don't come to you first to talk about it, um, but just know in my mind that once the 
there's one issue that um, happens, it gets out of my system right away once I talk about it or it's been addressed or whatever. And sometimes I don't even think about it too often. So <laughs> just know that I am still grateful for you guys. Um, no matter what issues we have, we still work pretty well. Um, the t it, We work great, or not great, I guess, but we're working okay as a team and we're getting there. We're, we're striving to be great. Um, I don't know if I want to mention any of you guys just in case that, you know, but if ever you guys see this and it's okay for me to mention you on future videos, let me know, definitely. Um, but you guys are awesome, all my um, hotel, hotel um, co-workers, you guys are amazing. Uh, for my general manager and front desk manager, thank you so much for your understanding. Uh, there are things that I know I've done in the hotel that aren't appropriate, like this, sort of. Um, but there are a lot, much more extreme things that I've done um, that other places would be considered unforgivable. And you guys forgave me all the time. And I'm thankful for you guys for doing that for me because, yeah. Um, I don't know, you guys just really really take your time to understand me and you know make me feel like I'm family and I'm home here and I consider if you're almost at the hotel <laughs> and I consider this hotel to be like my second home because you know it's another place that I go to to just I don't know let go and be anywhere but home when I don't want to be there um, you guys are amazing and yeah uh, hopefully we can strive to be better and um, yeah I love you guys so much and thank you for for being there for me and helping me out and you know guiding me step by step along the way I probably might have gave out hints already but we're, um, those are the things I am grateful for I'm grateful for God number one and I don't thank him as often as I need to and like this I kind of forgot a little bit as well but God for real I'm thankful for having something to believe in have someone to believe in and you've guided me a long way um, I'm here still tell me that I'm, I'm still here I'm here <laughs> is what I want to try to get to um, and it's been amazing like I've been through ups and downs and whew, it's stressful but I made it Thank you for not letting me burn the turkey, for real. <laughs> oh. I apologize for having late uploads and not uploading as often as I want to. Again, this is just for myself and there's not much events happening, really, so why not just do it whenever I can? And yeah, this is another thing and I just wanted to, I don't know, just, just showcase things and I just felt grateful today and I just want to shout out to those people who who I feel thankful for um, there are many different things I am thankful for at the moment as well like me being able to do this having my job having the things that I need uh, I am very lucky than most and yeah it's been it's been amazing um, I am not able to go to a party today unfortunately like I said I have work um, but I know that I, I know and trust that everybody's gonna have a great time today regardless if I'm there or not um, if to everyone else again I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye